What's up, everybody? Um, hope you're having a good Monday. It's here already. Um, did a blog post yesterday and had a couple private messages, which is really cool. Um, so all the questions are kind of related in a sort of way around the word motivation. Um, do I believe in motivation? For sure, but I, I think about it differently. In the past, I thought about motivation, you know, you, you know, you can get motivated in many ways, watching movies, listening to music, it gives you this upbeat kind of feeling, you want to go do something. That's how I thought motivation was that way, way, way back then. Um, motivation can also be cured. So in, in many ways, so let's say you want to work out really bad. You want to do it, but you just can't get motivated to do it, right? So what what people kind of do is they'll watch like motivational videos. They'll watch or they'll read something. Um, here's an example. You can go to a bookstore, grab a fitness magazine, right? Flip through it, purchase it, and get all excited about all the stuff that's in this fitness magazine. It's packed with fit people, free workouts, all this stuff, right? And guess what? That cures something in your brain that says, hey, I worked out today, right? So is that really motivating you? So I used to buy magazines all the time. I used to read them. I used, that's how I was educating myself, aging myself rapidly right now. But back in the day, we didn't have a lot of education on, on training, right? You would read this stuff with guys that were pushing 260, um, going on the Olympia stage. I mean, that I had no, no click with these people other than I love that they worked out. So that, I guess that was the motivation. So sometimes you can cure your motivation to train by doing something different, like buying the book, reading it and being like, okay, yeah, I bought something that was health related. Then you won't do it. It kind of crushes it. So these people were asking me, I wish I could come train with you so you could motivate me. Um, I, it's cool. I don't like the, the rah, rah coach kind of stuff. Um, you should motivate yourself. And this is what I mean. So I wrote down some notes. Like, so the word, the word motivate in the middle of the word is motive. Okay. And the Latin name motivus means moving mover to move or to act. Okay. The motive. You watch your detective shows, the motive, right? Um, part of the definition for that. Reason for doing something, especially one that is hidden or not obvious. This is in your detective shows. But hidden or not obvious, that's something within you. It's hidden. You got to find it. That's the motive. What do you want? You know, what, what do you want to work for? Um, that's motivation for me. So... Think back in the past. So here's another one. Producing physical or motion. Motive. That's another one. The mover. you got to move. The more you move, the more you get motivated. It's this consistency thing. And I preach consistency all the time. And habits. That's the motive. So you got to be motivate yourself. That You have to be the motive. What's deep inside you? So I always talk about my past. I always tell you guys I write my stories. I base my, my talks right now. Um, what I share with clients in one-on-one -on -one basis, all based on me. In my past, I had, you know, bad experiences. People telling me always, you're too small. You'll never make it. You're too dumb. I've heard these all, all, my, all my life, right? Um, never thought I would make it anywhere. Never thought I would go to university. All these things are, are, are people knocking me down. This happened my whole life. Even up to today, people try to knock me down. This is this is my motive, right? Um, I was told I would never step on stage and never turn pro. I was too small, too old to start. Um, made a five-year goal, turned pro, and then won another pro card with the WMBF. doesn't matter what people say, right? But just use it as the motive for you. So motivation is like... I guess going to some sort of class and you get all pumped up with working other people, that's cool. How long is that going to work for you? I don't know. 
but there has to be something deep inside. Okay, so here's another uh, meaning. Causing or being the reason for something. I just told you some of the stuff that happened to me. Past coaches in my life. Um, always comparing me to somebody else. Uh, this is hard because I took it as you're not seeing me for me and how I can improve. I'm always being compared to somebody else. Or authoritative coaches um, always screaming at you saying this is the way and this is the only way um, or you're not going to make it. I mean, I had all this. I think we've all had this growing up. Okay. Um, something in the end. So it's the motive. This is something that's deep inside for you to act on, to do something. That is your motive. Okay. So to motivate yourself, you got to dig, dig deep, deep, deep down. In my past, as some of you know, some of you are close to me. Um, I've shared this a little bit, but in my past, I was a massive addict, massive alcoholic, tapped into drugs, massive depression. I had to have a motive. I had nothing, right? All I had was negative people in my life and I kept choosing the negative easy way all the time. Um, I'm not saying I'm anywhere over being the, the, uh, once you have some sort of addiction, it's always inside you. So my motive is to be on top of it all the time, to not let it beat me. Um, so back then when I decided to make a change, it was right then and there, it was up here. It was the weirdest thing. I just made a change. I just said, you know, I want to live, you know, I want to, to, to improve. That was my motive. And then I slowly started. So the blog post I just, I just wrote, I was so, I was drinking every day. Um, <laughs> the drug thing was done, but I was drinking all the time. I'm talking in my bed, anywhere I went, I was drinking. Even back, way back in high school, I was playing friggin' hockey drunk. I was trying out for hockey teams drunk. Nobody knew. <laughs> and nobody cared, really. They just don't care. Um, it was my fault, my, my issues, that I will make another video all about that. So when I'm talking about my last blog, where do I start? I just started walking. Like, that was it. Because that was hard for me. Because I didn't do anything. I woke up, thought about booze, thought about killing myself, thought about more booze, thought about maybe killing myself because I got a little happy when I drank. So I drank some more and then it kind of put me into a whole new world, a fake world. And I lived in this fake world for years, years. But when I made a decision in my head to try to motivate myself, to be happy about the small little successes I was doing. I, I could barely walk down the freaking street. And where I'm from, we have hills like this. And I could barely get out of the driveway and just walk around the block. When I used to run 5 and 10 Ks like this. When I used to skate like crazy circles around people. Right? So the motivation for me, the motive was to change, see the change, feel the change. I didn't weigh myself. I don't think I was living with my dad back then. I don't, we didn't have a scale. I just looked in the mirror, you know, and I just kept on my schedule. Walk in the morning. First thing I wanted to feel the sun waking up on my face. I felt good at that time. I would listen to music. There was no podcasts back then. Um, it, it was actually a disc man. That's how old I am. So I would walk and then I would come home and then I would learn. I'm like, how am I going to get better? And I started to learn about food. I started to learn about training. There wasn't a lot to learn, but I was trying. And that was my motive. Try, freaking try every day. And did I have that negative dude back in my head, that, uh, that addict? 
always telling me to quit, always saying, don't go walking, because I was only walking, right? I wasn't even doing push-ups or sit-ups, nothing, because I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to train back then. I would walk, and he would tell me all the time, this idiot in my head, don't do it. It's easy to go sit at home on the couch. It's easy to go into the fridge and eat. It's easy to go in the pantry, do a pantry drive by, bang, bang, go shove some shit in your in your face. That's easy. It's easy. And I was tired of doing easy. I wanted uh, I wanted a challenge. And I wanted the challenge that I took to challenge me to a point, but I would be successful, right? You don't have to have that in your head. If you try, you're going to be successful. And these kept, they kept linking. Walking in the morning led to walking at night. I started loving walking at night. I was up early, right? And the birds and everything. And where I lived is gorgeous. And then at nighttime, there's lots of people walking on the street. It's, it's super nice. You can hear the, the river flowing. It's, I, I miss that. I miss that. I mean, the, the cities, the two cities I grew up um, were gorgeous places. So that's what I did. And then from that, I started getting some good confidence. My, my motivation started to go up to continue forward. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym again. Because in high school, back when I started to try to be good and then I fell off again, I had to graduate somehow. Don't ask me how I graduated because I don't really remember. But I know I had a sober moment in the end. And I tried very, very hard and I graduated. Don't know if that just graduated me. Wasn't sure, but I had to do a lot of upgrading in school when I was done to get to university. So, but I relapsed after that because it wasn't working. Anyways, back to my point, I worked out all through high school. I've always worked. I loved it. Never worked out properly in high school. I mean, me and my buddies would just go to the gym and lift like crazy. Um, but I started to go back to the gym and it started with just one day a week. And then I'm like, God, this makes me feel good. That's the motivation. How you feel. Not someone yelling in your friggin' ear. I can count on my hand how many training partners I've had. They had to click with me, right? We had, we weren't yelling at each other. We were just there to support each other. So. You don't, it, and back to the question, sorry, I'm going, this is a massive video here. I didn't want to tap into all this stuff, but people saying, I, I need to, you to train me. I can train you. You and I can talk like this, right? I can share my experience. I mean, that's what I do with my online clients. I'm always telling them my, my experience, where I went wrong, how I improved, how you can improve. I see that in people. That's one of the gifts I have right? I've always had that. I can see direction and what people can do and what they're missing. But for myself, it was very hard to see because I was blinded by the addiction I had. And I got out of it. And I think anyone can get out of it. It's all up here. And it, it's, was it hard work for me? Not after I made that choice. It wasn't hard after I made that choice. Have I fallen off a few times? Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. Absolutely. I battle with depression nonstop. Nonstop. The fitness industry is not, is not a fun industry. There's people cutting other people down. There's people stealing people's stuff. It's not fun. It ain't fun. But what's fun for me is transformation and helping people transform. Because I've transformed. I've transformed from super sick. Sick. Right? Mentally. Physically. My body was abused to improving, to failing, to improving, to failing, learning, going to school, learning, hiring coaches. I'm telling you guys, I learned more with hiring coaches than I did in school. And I think because they're all very well educated. They all went to school. You need to have that foundational base. School is the foundation. But they taught me so much more having a coach. Okay? I learned so much more by having a coach. And then they tell you their experiences. That's what's freaking cool about all of this. So when you're starting out, motivation comes from within. What's your motive to walk that day? What is your goal? 
What do you want? You don't need someone screaming at you. You don't need your friggin' workout pump class, whatever you're doing. You need to have something deep inside to keep going. If you want to do those classes, great. But you need to have something deeper to keep you going. And you need to see success. Okay? Sorry for the big one. I don't know how I'm going to load this um, being on my phone, but is what it is. Okay? I'll tell you guys more about my story, um, where I was, how I got out. That's all going to come out. So, anyways, I'm here to help all with transformation and moving forward, people.